In this video, we'll just look at the end behavior of polynomials. Okay, there were four families that we reviewed before. The x squared family. And examples of graphs in the x squared family were the simplest one, x squared. And that graph looks like that, where we have an up, up graph. But the ends of the graph are going up. Now, every graph that has an even power and positive coefficient have the same end behavior. So for example, 2x squared plus 3x will be up, up on the ends of the graph. We could also have 4x4 plus 3x squared minus 9 because we have an even power here, 4, and a positive coefficient here, 4. Another one could be 4x6 plus 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1. All of these graphs at the ends of the graph will be going up like that. They could well be having other things going on in the graph like that, which is quite possible, but the ends of the graph are always going to be going up as you go to infinity in both directions. So that's your x squared family. The next family is the minus x squared family. So this is your down down graph. So that graph looks like that. And the ends of the graph will be going down. Examples of graphs in this family could be y equals minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. You could have y equals minus 5x4 plus 2x cubed minus 5. You could have minus 2x6 plus 8x5 minus 4x cubed plus 10, something like that. Notice how each power is a positive even number and also the coefficients are negative. So we need negative coefficient and we need an even power. Okay, so any graph of that nature will have down down characteristics. So you could be coming up, go like this, and go down again. Okay, so the ends of the graph are both going down to negative infinity on the ends. So those graphs are in the minus x squared family. The next family is the y equals x cubed family. And that basic graph looks like this. So down, up. If you know these basic shapes, you'll know what the end behavior is like. So examples of this would be 2x cubed plus 6x minus 1. You could have 5x power 5 minus x squared plus 1. You could have y equals 6x7 minus 2x5 plus 4x minus 3, for example. Notice that the coefficient is positive, like that. Whether it's odd or even doesn't matter. But we have positive coefficient, but we have odd powers. And those have the characteristic as shown in this family. On this side, the graphs are going down to infinity, but on the right side, they will go up to positive infinity. So that's a down up graph.
the fourth family is the y equals minus x cubed family. So that's the basic shape for that one. You can try some numbers yourself. You'll get this shape for this particular graph. So examples would be y equals minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4. You could have minus 4x cubed minus 5x squared. You could have minus 3x5 plus 2x minus 9. So the characteristics of this family, the coefficient is negative and you have odd power. So odd powers and negative coefficient. So any graph like this, these ones that are shown will have this kind of end behavior. So up on the left side and down to the right side.